Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna show you a way to create techno scent and kits that perfectly fit the rad deep hypnotic techno style. And I'm gonna show you a way that I haven't shown on the channel before. So let's have a listen how it sounds. So this rack is perfect for this kind of raw edgy type of scent. So let me show you how the rack works. Basically you have a basic sine wave and you can add some FM modulation. That's one of the first element. So you will have three different type of frequency modulation and you have different tone for each one. So you can either be more subtle or and each one is kind of different and you can obviously combine then because we use fm modulation each note you're gonna play is gonna react differently so like sometimes even you cannot really play melody because it's from one note to another it's very different you can control the pitch of your scent here and you have a frequency tone as well which which this is great to either kind of adding modulation or variation to the sound without changing too much the tone and then you have your cutoff and resonance and then you can you want to play in sustain you have to bring that up and if you want more plucky sound all right so how i made that the idea was basically to use fm modulation but instead of using the pitch to kind of as fm modulation i will use a cycling envelope so the idea was to use three oscillator to modulate one so which means i need to change the algorithm here and i need to choose this one so this way b c and g modulate oscillator a so which means that you're not going to be able to hear anymore b c and g you will hear only oscillator a which will be our main source i will keep sine wave because when you use fm modulation it's usually works better if you start from a source that doesn't have that much harmonics and then you apply fm to add this harmonic the way you want so here i can play a melody and i didn't want it that i wanted to put the oscillator in fix so no matter which key i play it's always the same not playing the same frequency and you can change this frequency here so this is great because you don't need to stick to your classic note a b c d e f and you can go everywhere in between so we're gonna start to group things and set the macro so i need 12 macro in total and i'm gonna map this to a uh, macro 4 and name it frequency and i want to be able to have either a kind of a more lead sound so with sustain but i want to be able to have something more plucky as well so i'm gonna map the sustain to macro 11 and the gk to macro 12 and i'm gonna rename it as well before to jump into the fm and the cycling envelope i'm gonna as well change the filter i choose Korg ms20 style filter i think i add a bit of drive this just to add a bit of harmonics and i'm gonna map the filter to micro 5 and the resonance to micro 6. one thing i did as well i decided to modulate this filter with an envelope this way even if you bring down your filter 
you have your filter opening fast and I will leave the decay around 600 milliseconds. I'm gonna rename quickly this as well. All right, now it's where things get interesting. So like I say, I wanted to have all of this oscillator as modulator, so modulate oscillator A. So our, our first three macro is basically the amount of FM. So I'm gonna quickly rename them and basically it's the level of each. And which is great with this algorithm they can independently uh, affect the sound so you can even like after blend between like maybe use just two modulator for example b and d or you can use just c or you can use d and c i mean you can really blend me between them and create a more wide range of sound so let me mod this and now what i would have usually done with fm is like if you apply fm you can change the pitch or put it in fixed frequency mode and change the pitch and you get different kind of tone but i wanted to do something different i already made a rack similar to this method so i put the link in the description i'm gonna leave it in normal here the interesting thing is to set the envelope in loop mode so if you bring the time to the minimum and you bring down the sustain now what's gonna happen is your envelope's gonna kind of act as a lfo which means that your envelope's gonna cycle it's gonna loop so gonna repeat over and over so if i bring a bit of sustain i bring you can hear that if something is a tone is repeating and if i bring down the decay and you can see how it start to be really when it's very short time you can see how it start to be interesting and create some weird noise especially if you stay under like 30 milliseconds even like for example between one millisecond and two millisecond like You can see how it's completely changed the tone. So this I'm going to map it to macro seven. And what I've done here as well is I don't need to go until the end because what I wanted, what I really want is very like this kind of effect that is close to one millisecond. So in the mapping, I'm going to the GK time here and I'm, instead of having the maximum at 60 seconds, I'm going to put it at, let's say 200 millisecond. That's for our first one. So let me rename this. And then I've done the same here, bring down the sustain, so set in loop. And this time, instead of having the GK, I decide to have the attack modulating. So I'm gonna set it FM turn two. And for the last one, I've decided to do something different. So what I've done is I've basically decided to have my oscillator G reacting the same way than oscillator A, which means like it's going to follow the frequency. So I'm going to map this to the frequency macro. This way, when I move this one, you see they both have the same frequency, the one you're going to hear and the one who's going to modulate. So here we do going to change the frequency. But we're going to also set the envelope in loop mode with the minimum time. And here I wanted to try something different. So what I've done is I put the initial up and and set the GK to the FM3 tone. So here again, I've done the mapping to reduce the maximum value. So 200 milliseconds. So the reason why I do that is this way you have more precision in with the macro. And then you can start to play with all of them and until you find tone you like. Obviously, the more you will add FM, the more it would get messy and create harmonics and get a bit noisy. So finally, I had something. When your oscillator are not modulated by another oscillator, you have this function, the feedback, which basically means that the oscillator can be modulating himself. So I've mapped that to macro 10 that I renamed frequency tone. So let me map. And what I like with this feedback function is most of the time, it's not always true, but most of the time it will kind of change the tone without changing the tone, which is great to add variation. Uh, this I mistake here, this it's at six seconds actually. And it's this one, which should be like 200 milliseconds.
And yeah, that's pretty much it. Then I add a bit of effect. Uh, this is just like to avoid to have the sound too dry. Uh, it's just a bit of saturation, add a bit of harmonics, and then I just had like a, a ba basic delay ping pong in three. So feedback around 30 and dry weight around 30. And then I use hybrid reverb. I use one of my presets and I probably reduced the dry weight and the decay. I think I'd left the stereo that way. Maybe bring down here. And yeah, now you can. Start to shape your sound. So it's quite an unpredictable rack uh, because obviously if you just change But yeah, you can get great sound out of it. And yeah, once you put all the color, it's like that. And you have all of the product as well that will be available as well. So the rack is available for free as usual, the link in the description, you can go and grab it. I will try to make a live 10 version, but obviously I have less macro, so I'll probably have just two FM and I will probably get rid of the resonance and the sustain. But yeah, all of the MIDI files are where I will put them. So this way you can have everything. And yeah, I hope you like it guys. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon guys. Bye bye.